All right, chapter four, Tunnels Under the Hawkins Mansion. Inside the Hawkins Mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had undertaken search, or undertaken to search the place, looking for proof. When a hooded man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, detective and police officers set off after him. Oh, he was taking a painting? I thought he had a book. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley enter the tunnel under the mansion. Secret Hawkins. passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. Ooh. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. <laughs> Things are going to get bad down Look, here, Bradley. Someone's been here recently. Three seats. Three seats and some creepy shit. Like, what is this supposed to be? Did Charles Hawkins use this place? <laughs> we envisioned him with a little Who robe. The others. Don't they look like the people in our dream? What is this mask supposed to represent? I don't know. Could be the elder gods. Could be. Could just be something to talk to them. It's hard to say. I wish we had more information. Did Charles Hawkins hide something in this chest? Hmm. What is... I really wanted to find out about this, but maybe we can investigate this. Look! Look! It's a tentacly-faced bastard! Baby Cthulhu itself. What were you hiding from us, Charles? Okay, we can't go that way. What am I missing here? Something underneath the table? Because usually we're looking for something that glows. And the other things that I'm looking at that don't glow, and they haven't helped out. The statue here, this creepy thing on the wall. Oh, here we go. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Is Sarah Hawkins here? Did Sarah eavesdrop on things? Uh-oh. Did she end up bringing that up in the conversation and that's why they had their fight? What was she discovering? Charles was into some shit. But we don't have much we had already figured. Ah, uh, Bradley. Things are bad. Real bad. You shouldn't stand on the edge of a place like this, Bradley. It doesn't have any railings. It's not up to code. Mm, I don't think cultists typically follow codes. At least... Not for safety reasons. You kind of throw caution in the wind. Of course. Damn it. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. I'm glad you have faith in that. Further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. What? If You're... possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. <sighs> what a cheap reason to make him leave me alone. Wow. Yeah, fine. Okay, he doesn't want to ruin his uniform and go into the water. I'll just do it. Find the thief's trail. Secondary objectives. Go to the main cave. So somehow I'm going to have to find my way in there. That will hopefully give us a bunch of information. And I'm hoping I don't end up missing that, that information. And I can't crouch in the water. Oh boy. Well, if anything's in the water, I'm just going to be screwed, I suppose. Oh, I thought I was going to have to slip in there. Looks like there are a few places where, yeah, maybe Bradley wouldn't have been able to enter. But he wasn't that big. Can I not go back that way? Wow, I'm I'm just locked here. Maybe I shouldn't carry this around. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. Maybe we should touch it and turn it to dust. 
I don't think we want the dreams to be caught of any of the people here. Whoa, what the fuck happened to you, buddy? Sad way to go. You just got crushed. An old diary. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 2. Did she title it that? Because that'd be funny. Like, imagine... If she wrote that down herself on the side. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 2. In this volume, there is mention of the beliefs of the Lost Tribe. The Lost Tribe. They worshipped an entity that spoke to them in their sleep. The whole tribe seemingly disappeared in a mass sacrifice to the glory of their deity. Okay. The Lost Tribe. Now we're getting to the real secrets of things that happened. This looks familiar. These paintings must be several centuries old. And you know what? Sarah Hawkins brought them back. It must be because of her husband. I wonder if her husband sought her out. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. <laughs> you know, I wish. I really wish. But probably not. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? They might have been sacrificed to try to summon these things into existence. And it might have worked out. The huge beasts that kill whales. Yeah. But yeah, I wonder if Charles, you know, they met up and he's he's like, ah, she has the vision. She will be able to guide us closer to the elders. Ah. That'd be fucked up. But I guess to be fair, everything has been fucked up with him. Hey! Can I open this from this side? Nope. I don't know if I just failed a secondary objective? No, we're, we're, we're in where they consider the main cave. You know, when we started the game off, I was in a spooky tunnel with a lot of dead everythings, and then I saw people get stabbed, and more than likely it's gonna be Time Bradley. Weakened, these structures. Or Andrews. I mean, those are the only two cops' names that we fully know at this point. So, uh, I saw their fate. I wonder if I'll be able to change mine. Uh, I don't have time to search them all. We could have searched them a slight bit. Oh no, what the hell is this goop? Is this whale oil? Acid? It looks like animal oil. But certainly not whale. Is it... Is it people oil? That'd be weird. But I mean, the cultists could be up to weird shit all the time anyways. <laughs> Why do they even have the mechanic of the lighter, like, eventually burning your fingers? Uh-huh. It's a small touch for the, li the lighter thing, but... It just makes me worried. I hear my guy go, huh, and it makes me think something's happened. Oh, that's nice. They unlocked this door. Oh shit, the cultists. What's going on here? Are they trying to do a sacrifice? Yes. Oh shit. Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? <laughs> we'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Bradley, you should use your gun. Just pull it out, because these guys, they're serious business. So I wonder if those two people are dead already. Oh no, is this... Is this the room? What the hell? Who is that? I guess we'll have to get close to find out. I can't see the features on them. It could just be a random cultist. Oh boy. Oh boy. What the hell happened to you? Grave. 
Do they just chuck people into here? Am I gonna get chucked into there? A table for sacrifice? Oh boy. Hey Charles. Oh shit. Ah! Well, I didn't really get much of a chance to investigate that area. Oh, fuck me. I got, I got it. I can't breathe. Oh, we're freaking out, man. We don't want to be here. Some situations and encounters will make you panic. Flee the place as soon as fast as you can. You fucking got it, man. I mean, I, I you wouldn't have had to tell me anyways. Huh. All right. This is the place from our dreams. But that means we're going to see Bradley die soon. Is it my turn? Oh, no. Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us, if your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. What the hell's happening here, man? It's like in my dream. Yeah! But it doesn't seem to be one-to-one. -one. We didn't see those cultists before. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I found this dagger in the tunnels under Hawkins Manor. Its owner left it behind when he went with the other hooded men. Or hotted men. Oh no, that's... This game's been out for months. I'm surprised that wasn't tweaked. I can't read Latin. T I mean, yeah. We can't read Latin either. I think we got our cultism to level 2 though, so maybe we can figure some of these things out a little bit better. Maybe. Is level 5, 6 CP as well? Wow! I'm surprised they didn't make it like, ah, 10 CP! Do I still have my lantern? Oh wow, I didn't have to like get it again. But I should be careful about keeping things lit up. Do I still have to get the bolt cutter? And is that creature still gonna be in the water? And didn't see anything this time. This door might just be open this time. Wow. That's nice. Ah, Fatagen, yes. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu Fatagen. You who sleeps, accept this dream under your immortal wing. Ya Cthulhu Nithsaha Fitagan. Grant him your flesh and accept his, so that his body and yours may be one. Yibithnk Hupadk Cthulhu Bithnkor. Grant him your mind and accept his, so that his mind and yours Maybe one. You loig padk Cthulhu loigna. Should I be sneaking past this? Grant him your dreams and accept his, so that the paths of your souls finally intertwine. Your el Cthulhu kashag. Let his soul guide you to us, just as your dreams guided it to you. Your El Cthulhu Bog Shug. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Your dream is over the way, so that the day finally comes when you will awake. You're just gonna keep subduing people so that way we're sacrificing people. La Cthulhu Nafal Fatag. So that way they could try and bring in the old gods. Oh, hey. Locked. That's where they knocked me out. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, maybe I can sneak past them. You know, they're, they're, they're deeply enchanted. Oh, sweet. 
just oil chilling out there. Look, as long as they don't notice that I'm sneaking behind them. Maybe they don't care, but I imagine they probably do. I... I feel him. Shh. You are gifted indeed. Not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. Bring me more sacred flesh. We pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. See, I want to continue hearing the rest of this ritual so that way I can get, you know, more of an idea of what they're seeking. Because they're kind of like pleading with Cthulhu every time they probably do this. It's the way of trying to bring the guy into the world. Uh, I'm assuming these guys failed the ritual. Because they ain't breathing. Dead? This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? Again, this primitive writing. So, they're sacrificing people to try and, like, get people either to be directly connected with Cthulhu or something. But to what gains? Do they think it'll grant them immortality? We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? Oh, shit! His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. <laughs> I was I was wondering why the hell the sound was coming from my left, but I thought maybe it was just weird shit happening with the audio. But no, it was legitimately a guy to my left. I just want to get out of here at this point. Am I gonna find Bradley here? Oh shit. He's gonna know I'm here. He's seen this already. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd-looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. What in the world is this? They know! We shouldn't have been talking! An intruder! Oh, shit! The gun! The gun, Bradley! Don't move! Police! Don't move! Yeah, the guy with tentacles for arms is... Not really. Is that Charlie? I won't hesitate. Bradley, get I back. Show. Get back. You asked for it. That was a good shot, man. Job. It's Charles. My bad. You shouldn't have seen this. Ah! Charles! Why would you do that to Bradley? He was the only cool person on the island. Oh, fuck. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta leave. I'm not getting stabbed today. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? That's fine. I need to get out of here. I'd much rather you not be able to chase me than uh, getting stabbed or something. It makes things very clear about what I should or shouldn't be doing. Okay, we've had our first, uh, on-screen death. And that means this is where everything goes wrong. Ah! Uh, uh, my leg! Ah! Uh. It's okay, as long as we don't run into any cultists, we can walk it off! Or limp it off! Hey! Looks like they might have killed a few of their own cultists! Good job, you really didn't think that through. But you know what, that's the life of a fucking cultist, I suppose. Oh, uh, maybe that'll set them back a little bit. Ah, shit, we killed a few of the protégés. Light. At last. That might not be the light of surface- Oh, dog! Oh. Shit. Am I just locked in here? No. Well, at least I didn't get stabbed. 
But how are we going to get out of this mess? Chapter 5, Riverside Institute. Pierce and Officer Bradley follow the intruder to the secret meeting place of a cult set in a network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. They witnessed a strange ceremony led by Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself a prisoner of a rockfall. Rushed to the Riverside Institute, he's in a critical state. Oh, I'm... I'm I got rescued? That's good. The Riverside Institute's probably going to have fucked up exper experiments or something, but, you know, at least I'm not in the caves anymore. Oh, God. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, no, am I going to just start seeing shit? Are these people part of the cult? He's having a seizure. He will survive. Strong subject. Are you going to inject me again? Oh, Jesus. Bra Bradley? Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. What? <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. Oh, Dad, he killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was, he was dead. Me too, we, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! Stop talking me out! This isn't right! He's dead! You can't cover it up! I know the truth! Oh, God. I know what I saw. I know I... I... I I'm not... I'm not crazy. I gotta get out of here. What happened to me? What is this gas? Where am I? You think you're keeping me subdued? You need to let me out! <laughs> Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. No, you don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. Oh, there's the members of the asylum staff. Fuck. Let me out of here! Oh. Come on! There's... There's a mystery on the island, and if we don't stop it... If we don't tell everyone, everyone's gonna die. The whole world! It's not just about Dark One anymore! Oh... I think I'm- I think I'm just- I think I'm just gonna have to wait. I don't have any other choice. Someone's gotta break me out. Someone's gotta let me out. Huh. Maybe, 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 maybe they- Maybe they slipped up. Maybe I can leave. Mm, my leg's still not too good. That limp's pretty bad. They trapped and hunted me. Pursued me right into their dreams. The Leviathan. They scrolled all over their maps in the wake of my lonely wanderings. Was the Leviathan the giant whale? Did you not want to be captured and killed? Is dark enough to hide the color of my blood. Is your blood no that strong enough? Oh. What do you want me to do about that, then? I mean, they're the cultists. You should probably just tell them in their dreams to fuck off. Unless he wants them to keep sacrificing and trying to bring him back in. But the Leviathan's different than the Cthulhu. 
Uh, that's on them for using the Leviathan name in the subtitles, though. When the last order rises up, you will choose. I will not be here to bear witness to it, because you will have released me. I don't want to do that. But the earth will resound to your cries. Or theirs. I haven't really been compelled to do so. You didn't really give me a good reason. You there. Wake up. Come on. Stand up. Who? We don't have much time. <gasps> hey! Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm down for getting the hell out of here, you know? If you're willing to help me, I'm willing to help you. What's up? Can you stand up? Duh. Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive. I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible. And as unobtrusively as possible. As unobtrusively. I clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Wait a minute. Okay, oh, we got a lot of things here. What are they doing? The patients here? How am I supposed to escape from here? I don't know who I'm dealing with. You're not getting in too deep. Let's do this. What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment. For problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I can try to do that. Okay, I got all my stuff back. That's great. I hope this gas doesn't do anything to affect her. Oh, jeez. All right. As much as I want to go out and escape from this place, I need to do things in the real world. So I'll be right back.